duties that I've been doing for the past four days, I think. <clears throat> so let's jump right into the ladder. And I'll uh, talk about some stuff first off. So, as everyone should know, the um, new boss battle is about two days away. Which is awesome, by the way. <clears throat> uh, my favorite matchup, and that is sarcasm right there. Okay, let's see. I have to I have to bank on a good opening hand, but uh, on to future plans. Get rid of you. Keep the Nimbus. Yeah. Okay, yeah, replace it. But the downside is that since the new boss fight releases on a weekend day, um. <clears throat> I won't be able to record commentary for the boss fight or the next episode or the next installment of this series. And there's the everyone's favorite thing. Yay. Pags, you didn't screw me, that's good. But, <clears throat> God, I'm losing my train of thought right here. <clears throat> Ooh, excuse me. But I will be learning how to put captions on videos to give, like, a uh, quick little opening thing, a little opening speaking the next episode, and, of course, for the boss fight, which I will, of course, be recording... Maybe alongside the daily installment of the Laddering series? Punish. Yeah, I don't- I, I don't see that card sh I don't think that card really should be used in, uh... In Lilith, to be honest. Oh, you just made the worst possible mistake, hun. You just made... The worst mistake... Possible. So I'll move you there to kill you. Because now I get to burst in your face. All over your face. Now where was I? Captions, that's right. I'm gonna learn how to use put captions in video, so I'll give the little opening spew and then just do the entire thing with no commentary. The downside is since I don't ha play the Duelist music, it's gonna be fucking quiet, like, just the worst. There's Lady Locke, that's gonna be a little annoying, then they're gonna Wraithling... They're gonna Furiosa, and then Furiosa, then Wraithling Swarm. Ah, oh, God. Yeah, I, w I was just about to say, you sure you want to do that? So... Mm, there we go, that's what you do. So here's what I need to do. I need to kill... all of the Wraithlings in order to do that, however... Whisper the Sands? I don't need Whispers! That's the one card I don't need! Whatever. Um... Shit. I need to kill the Ferosa. That as straight up, I just need to kill the Ferosa. Now the downside is that Nimbus won't be able to save that um that, uh, buffed Dervish. So, yeah. That's, uh... only downside there is just that. <sighs> I gotta hate counterplay for giving, um... Abyssian Swarm support. And then here, here's the true bane of my existence. This one card. Oh, just Cryptographer. Here, I was expecting something terrible. 
like, oh, I don't know, a freaking, um... Or a ritual banishing. That'll do it. And then you can, of course, trade the 3-3 uh, three, three Rafling into that. Okay, now you're getting ballsy. You're getting very, very ballsy. Okay, okay, here's what I need to do. Move here. I need to get rid of the whispers. Sorry, I'm I'm in uh freaking I'm in tactical mode right now, guys. Like I am in tactical mode at the moment. Because right here, right now, Abyssin has cleared my most valuable minion from the board of that ritual banishing. And um <clears throat> if they play a freaking Shadow Blood Moon Priestess, I'm fucked. Because they could just instantly snowball. And because, again, because I have no ability to get rid of it, save for like no Shrek, but that'll never happen. I'd say Kalino might also set me back. Now, because I know that running punish, yeah, there's there's the uh, shadow dancer or the um... oh reaper. Okay, that's a card. That's a card I was not expecting. Okay, so he's gonna he's gonna try and buff the reaper. I bet. I really wish I had I really wish I play Star's Fury in this deck. I really, really do. Um This is well played. No Shrek. No Shrek Lethal Oh, thank God. And people say Vitruvian has no burst. Oh, okay, that... That gave me a slight heart attack right there. I'm not gonna lie. Mind you, I would have had lethal without the um, first wish. And I just realized that, like, just now. Okay, so where was I? Oh yeah, that's right. And for the boss fight, again, I have something very, very special and very, very nice planned out for that. I need to check my timer, actually. 16 minutes. Okay, I can play another match. So, yeah. Captions for the next two to three episodes. And then I wasn't really planning on doing much commentary for the, um... One turn... One kill Tarim. Or whatever. Okay. I don't know how the fuck to say his name. Okay, Tyrum, I guess. Okay, let's get rid of the Amari Healer and Arashas. I want to keep that Nimbus. Okay, I can double packs. I'm cool with double packsing, to be honest. It's a uh, form of cruel and unusual punishment, I'll agree, but... Okay, so here, here's my plans. If he summons a Chakri Avatar... Yeah, okay, yeah. Okay, I already... I'm gonna replace the packs in this case, because I already know what my play's gonna be. Uh, I kinda like that second Nimbus, I guess. God, that animation. Okay, your move, Song Hai. Yeah, I bet you his entire play was kind of banking on that Chakri Avatar. I think what he was going to try and go for was... Um, turn 2, 
super massive burst. All right, spawn in the somewhat correct places. I'm gonna replace a Nimbus for an A fucking Mara fucking healer. Move you there. I want to put you in front of me. Okay, I like that first wish. Okay, immediately he can technically make a five mana play this turn. He's going to juxtaposition the... Obelisk. Okay, yeah, okay, I see the play here. He's gonna juxta the obelisk then. Personally, I really don't care. Because he already moved the thing, so unless he's gonna freaking blink it onto the mana orb. Eh. Whatever, home bracho. Whatever is what I say. Now the question is, do I want to go right into a Mara healer? And, you know, keep him tied up? Right here? Or do I want to... First I'm going to just ram this dervish into the spell jammer. Because that's, that's definitely going to be what's going to be keeping his uh, hand... Stupidly healthy. I might just do. I might just do that and just uh, Abemara him. He can't blink. The worst you could do is Miss Dragon Seal. Move that. Place that there. And then uh, the spell jammer is gonna die. Regard. Is gonna die to something else regardless. So now he either needs to uh, remove... He needs to remove my Amara healer, first of all. Which he's going to do right here. Okay. Miss Dragon Seal. Oh well. I'm going to take four damage. Oh, well. I don't care that I'm taking four damage right there. Not in the slightest. I'm dumping the Allomancer. For a second, first wish. So I'm actually going to move the Amar right here. Kill this. I'm then going to first wish this. Okay, good. Another Amara healer. Put that there. I'm actually going to move my ass down. And I want to play Nimbus right there. And I will call the turn. So the bad thing in this match is that I let him keep that spell jammer there for one turn, for uh, like a uh, couple turns, allowing, to allowing him to keep his hand healthy. Now, yes, I do have a Mari healer on the field, and I do have another one in hand. The problem is that Chakri Avatar right there is that he could just... He could juxtaposition, just dump spells on it, and just kill me. Just right out kill me. Have the problem with juxt... Oh, yeah, he could just juxta the thing into a corner and keep it there. Yeah, he can move the Chakri into that corner, juxta, and then just dump spells on the damn thing all day long. Of course, that would still leave Nimbus, and I do have Entropic Decay. The problem is if he deals too much damage to me, um, I could be very vulnerable to straight up dying to Phoenix Fire or something. I, I would say I think I've played this as well as I could have. But I could have played a bit better, I think. So he's obviously got something... He obviously has a plan with the uh, Chakri Avatar. So he's, he's running. 
Okay, that feels like it's going to be Grandmaster Zendo. I really don't care. Because that's why. Okay, and then... Shit, I should have replaced to see if I could have gotten a no Shrek. Nah, it would not have mattered. So I'm actually going to first wish him. Okay, me likey. Me likey quite a bit. Okay, I want to place you... He's got to have some kind of lethal, though. He has got to have some kind of stupid-ass lethal about to happen. So, my best spot to put this would be here. And then just deal four damage. He's going to one-turn kill me. He, he's very obviously playing uh, maybe like a little bit of combo high. So, I wouldn't be surprised if I saw like a mirror meld in this match. Or maybe uh, the Grandmaster Zendo deck, because he did have Zendo. But all I can say is I'm in the red. Literally and figuratively. So either he straight up kills me this turn, which he very, mi very much might as well. Yeah, he's buffing that thing up. He's going to be able to kill me. He's going to kill me. However, that's the thing the Yeah, there it is. Yeah, he's got to be able to... He's going to kill me. There it is. Yep. Oh, never mind. Well played. Just straight up. Well played. Actually, I want to replace since... I, first, I replace. Yeah, okay, yeah, this is just well played. Okay, so... I won that by the skin of my teeth. I won that by the skin of my teeth. Alright, how much time do I have left? Because that was a lengthy match. Six minutes. Do I really want to go into another match? And potentially make this a longer episode? Sure, why not? And so, I'm going to expect to lose this match right here. Because that's usually how this goes. Uh, I win, like... At least from the past couple episodes, I've won like two matches and then lost like the mirror to Vitruvian. So I'm going to end up fighting the Vitruvian mirror right here and uh, going to get my ass kicked. <sighs> I didn't realize that that little number up there in the top, to the top left corner showed up in videos. I think that's, that's like the uh, FPS counter I have on the software that I'm using, D3D Gear. Okay, so it's uh, Bissian and Songhai for this video. Okay, okay. Let's crush this Reva. Okay, I'm not really liking this starting hand. Not really liking the starting hand. I like that Nimbus, though. I'm going to hold on to that Nimbus. No opening play. No opening play. That's a bad thing. Very, very bad, bad thing. Yeah, I'm going to lose this match. I'm not going to have a good play for the next few turns, I think. So hopefully they start with a shit hand as well. And, um... Okay, they have to die now. They're playing spear high. Hmm...
So let's see. Do this. Deny the tile. And then Rosh's Curse. God, that animation's so cool. It is so cool. I kind I, I dislike it a little bit that it's shared between both, um... I dislike it that it's shared between Whispers and Rosh's. I kind of feel as though that Whispers needs its own separate animation, but overall, I'm loving it. Key Beholder, Inner Focus. Okay, so another Crescent Spear. Hmm... I feel as though I need another Rasha's. So, come on! No, I'm not that lucky, it seems. Do I, the question is, do I go into Nimbus, though? Do I go str I'm gonna go straight into Nimbus. Going straight into Nimbus. Developing a threat that they have to deal with. Without dealing damage to it, otherwise the damn thing snowballs. Now, they could Killing Edge the Keepy Holder. Uh, but still, that wouldn't be enough to kill Nimbus. That would not be a way... That would not be enough to cut through the whole thing's HP. I don't know why people call Nimbus a girl, though. Like, I I've always seen Nimbus as kind of like a guy. Like, Nimbus does- Nimbus looks and sounds like a guy, though. I don't know, maybe- maybe if he does survive, um, we, uh, see his attack animation, uh, he usually does a cry, so we might see if it's more feminine or a masculine kind of voice. Why don't you put the Archaean heart right there? That doesn't make any sense. Unless you're lantern foxing, I suppose. Oh, I see now. So the Nimbus couldn't access that. Okay. Well, personally, I don't really care. Hmm. Okay, that's an interesting one. Yeah, I know my play. Close the gap a little. Play you. Kill you. Go face with you. And then whispers. And possibly kill the keepy. Yep. Dead keepy holder. I kind of like how the uh, keepy holder says, I am free. Like, uh, Cryptographer also says that when he dies. And I forgot to listen to see if uh, Nimbus was. Whatever. I still say Nimbus is a guy. So maybe a second crescent spear. Which will definitely turn this Phoenix Fire into some Twin Strike. Okay. Come on, hit the Nimbus! Yes! Oh my god, that's perfect! That's beautiful! Let's replace an Amara healer. God. God, you're gonna be just so displeased with me. That's the timer right there. In the background. Another Whispers! 
Oh boy, that's a lot of damage. So let's uh, just hurry up and do all this real quick. And then just for maximum damage. Again, I really wish First Wish gave permanence. I really do. Like, uh, that would really fit into Vitruvian a bit, I guess. Like, for one, it's Dervish support, and two, it would immediately make any Dervish spawn from any Obelisk a 3-3 that stays on the field. Uh, Blood Rage Mask, they're gonna dump all their spells. Yeah, Phoenix Fire, Phoenix Fire, well played. That was a great game. I, I realize they disconnected, but again, I'm, I'm trying to be a better person here. But, uh, as with all amazing things, guys, this episode's gotta end. Thank you guys for watching. As a matter of fact, let's actually end the episode off with some uh, orb opening action. Once again, we'll be uh, drawing from the core set. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Let's see if we got something sexy. Okay. Uh, we got something, I'd, I'd say, average, I suppose. Oh, dear God. Just why, God? Just why? Why? Is is it because I did? Is it because I did the thing with whispers? That has to be it. Well, anyways, thanks for watching, everyone. I hope to see each and every one of you in the next episode, and I hope each and every one of you, of course, have a very nice day.